Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 14 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device using iTunes. Uh, so I'll maybe clarify this a little bit further. So using iTunes on Windows and using Mac uh, if you actually have a MacBook or any kind of Apple computer. The processes do differ just a little bit because Windows does require iTunes while MacBooks already have everything baked into the OS so you don't need to download anything. All you would do is just open up your Finder which is the equivalent of Explorer as I have one right here and when you plug in your phone just as a demonstration it will show up somewhere on the side panel. There we go. You'd click on it and this would show you instead of a internal storage it would show you a page like this and that's basically what you're looking for now on windows you do need to download itunes which can be done easily by going into the microsoft store searching for itunes and downloading it from there it will automatically get installed and once you have it open it up plug in your phone and navigate to this page right here which was done by clicking on this little icon right here uh, i'll mention if you plugging in your iPhone for the very first time to your computer, it might ask you to basically trust the computer on your phone, a pop-up should show up. And additionally, you might also see like a starting page for your phone, where you see the image of your phone on the right side, and then on the left side, you have either set it up as new or restore from a backup. In this case, choose that you want to set it up as new. And then you can tap on this uh, phone icon and it will take you right here. Now, moving further to reset your phone, you would just press uh, restore iPhone. And when pressed, it will, for me, it all automatically allows me to do it. But in your case, uh, Mac and Windows doesn't really matter. In both cases, you do need to download the newest version of iOS. It does not matter that the phone might be already running that version. This is Apple we're talking about, so just download it again. And this might take you some time. On iTunes, it shows up with a download icon right here next to the search bar. On Apple, uh, MacBooks or Macs, I have no idea. So I assume it might show up in the bar at the bottom and like a download icon. So yeah. Now, once you have it, you can then proceed further once it's finished downloading, obviously, by selecting Restore. This will begin preparing your phone, then extracting it, and lastly, it will start installing it. So this entire process might take like 10 minutes to finish up. Just be patient. And once it's finished, you will be greeted with the setup screen for your phone. Now, there is one additional thing that I'll mention while I still can. Never mind, I can't. So, in your case, you might also get a pop-up considering you are logged into a iCloud on your phone. And that pop-up will be uh, telling you to turn off Find My. So, just navigate into the settings and right at the top you'll see your iCloud. Click on it and then one of the, the categories there is Find My. Disable it. When you try to disable it, it will tell you that you need to verify it by providing your password for your iCloud. So do so and from there, you can then proceed further with the items. Now, while this is going, uh, like I said, it might take a couple minutes uh, to finish up. So just be patient, let it run through. I'm gonna do so. And I'll come back once I'm actually presented with the setup screen. So see you in like five to 10 minutes. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your phone however you like. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.